start with opening a web browser and we'll go to Google. In the search bar here, let's type Canon Operation Viewer. And we'll click on this link here in the USA.canon.com. I'll also include this link in the description of the video. Bring you to Canon's page here, the remote operator software kit. I'll scroll down and we're going to go to software. And we'll see the remote operation viewer software. We're going to go to the select button here. And then we're going to click on download. And based on the browser you're using, you're probably going to get some instructions here on how to access your downloads. Read those if you need help with that. You can exit out. In Chrome, our downloads pop up here at the bottom, and we can open that. And we get the zip file. We're going to go ahead and extract it to, oh, uh, let's extract to our downloads folder. Let me press the extract button here. So that should have extracted it to our downloads folder. We'll go to the file explorer. Something like the explorer here. And we can go to our downloads folder. And there we see we've extracted the remote operation viewer. We can go ahead and open that. In this folder, we're going to go down until we find the setup application. So we type application, we double click the setup button. Now here you can select your language, select OK. So open the Canon Remote Operation Viewer Setup Wizard. We'll click on Next. This is the Canon Software Agreement. Go through that, click on Agree, and then click on Next. And here's where swear you're going to install the Remote Operation Viewer. We'll click Next and Next. You may get a pop-up, Windows pop-up here asking for permission to allow this to make changes on your hard drive. Click on yes. And it's been successfully installed. So we can close, unclose that. And now we can go to our start menu down here. And if we don't see it, we can just start typing Canon. And there's our command and remote operation viewer app, version 2.3. Just double click that to open it. That's going to open up this little window here. A lot of times it's speed blank, we'll just type in our IP address for the app here that we want to connect to and click on OK. And in a previous video, I showed you how to set up uh, remote operation, remote user interface. When there was an option there where we could enter a password. I went ahead and entered a password. You don't have to. If you don't enter a password there, this will just automatically open for you. Since we did create a password, we'll type that in here. And okay. That's going to connect us to the remote operation viewer. So this will give us the view, like we're standing in front of the machine. And we can see the touch panel. As you can see here, we can click on the touch panel. It also gives you a little control panel here. It's all the same buttons and menus as if you were standing right in front of the machine.